Hi everyone. So in the last video, we learned how to index and select the rows from a pandas data frame with the index operator ilog. And in this video, we will index not only rows, but also columns with the ilog operator. But first of all, we import pandas and we import our Summer Olympic Games medal data set. And we have a look at the first five rows. So no surprise here. And what we already learned, we can for example, select the very first row at index position zero with uh, the iLog operator by passing here the index position zero. And we get here as a panda series, the first row of our pandas data frame. And now let's assume we only want to have um, the name of the athlete of the first row. Then we can in addition slice also for the athlete so we make a comma here. So the first position within uh, the brackets here is um, for the index position of our rows. And uh, the second position here is uh, for the index positions of our columns we want to select. So here we want to select um, the athlete column and we have to apply position-based indexing, uh, same as uh, with lists and numpy arrays and matrices. So our year column has in the index position zero, one, two, three and our athlete column has in the index position four. And here we get um, the athlete of um, the very first uh, medal and it's Alfred Hayos. So now what if we want to select uh, for the first row the columns year, city and sport. So let's copy it and paste it. So we want to slice for the column at index position zero one and two. So with zero based indexing, we have to slice from index position zero until index position three excluding. So in here we get the, the year, the city and the spot column for our very first row. So it's 1996 in Athens and it's aquatics. And with uh, the iLog operator, it works yeah, exactly in the same way as um, selecting and slicing NumPy arrays. So the first position is for the row index position and the second position is for the column index position and uh, zero indexing applies as well. And if we slice, the starting point is uh, including and the ending point is excluding. And we can also pass a list. So let's copy and paste here. And let's say we want again the first row, but we want to have column at index position two, four, six, and eight. So let's see what we get here. So the column at index position two is sport, it's aquatics. The column at index position four is athlete, Alfred Hayos. The column at index position six is uh, gender, so he's a man. and. The column at index position eight is um, the kind of medal, it's uh, the gold medal. Yeah, and we can also make some more complex queries, so there's no limit on this. So for example, we want to have um, the columns here two, four, six, and eight, but we want to have the rows um, from index position 34 including until index position, let's say 39 excluding. And here we can see we get uh, the column sport, athlete, gender, and medal for the rows from index position 34 until 38 including. And with uh, the ilog operator, we can also select uh, columns, so complete columns. So let's check it here, summer.ilog. And we can say we want for all rows, we want to have column four here. So we get here column four, which is athlete. And now we can check if um, this is um, the same as selecting a column with uh, the attribute athlete. So we ask if summer.ilog all rows and the fourth column is equal to summer.athlete. And that's true. And we already learned that uh, we can alternatively also slice for the athlete column by having athlete uh, in spare brackets after summer. So that's also possible. So we have here three alternatives. However, if I only want to slice for a column, I would never use here the ilog. So summer.athlete is shorter and better actually. All right, so let's again slice here with the spare brackets to have it complete. 
So that's uh, the third alternative. And with this, we are finished now with this session. And in the next uh, session, we will learn the index operator log. So hope to see you there. Bye.